What's going on my fellow photoshoppers? It's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a go at recreating the DVD cover for the 1999 movie Magnolia written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. This is based loosely on the Region 2 DVD cover for the same movie. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Ensure that you use Command instead of Control or Option instead of Alt if you're a Mac user. Go to File and New. Your canvas width should be 1500 pixels and the height should be 1414. Click OK. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Rows. Hold Shift and Backspace on your keyboard. Fill the contents with black. Click OK. Go to Edit, Preferences, Guides, Grid and Slices. For your grid option, you want the color to be light gray, a grid line every 220 pixels, style lines and subdivision 7. Click OK. Right click on the rows layer, duplicate layer, call your new layer columns. Go back to your rows layer, go to view, click on snap so that it is ticked. Return to view again, go to show and grid. Select your rectangular marquee tool. Go to the top left corner of your canvas, left click, hold your mouse button down and drag your mouse cursor down by four squares. Drag it then across to the right side of your canvas to create a whole row. Let go of your mouse button. Go back to the left side of your canvas again. Go down by three blocks, hold shift, left click, hold, and draw another row. Repeat this process until you get to the bottom. Your last row will only be three blocks high. That is fine. You should have seven rows altogether. Click on the layer mask icon. Go to columns now. Repeat the same process as you did with the rows layer, this time creating columns, each one being four blocks wide until you get to two blocks at the end of your canvas on the right. Add a layer mask to this as well. Press Ctrl and H to hide the grid now. Hold Ctrl and left click on the rows layer mask icon. Hold Ctrl, Shift and Alt and now left click in the columns layer mask icon. You should see highlighted squares appearing on your canvas now. Go to Select and Save Selection. Click OK in the new window. Press Q on your keyboard to make a quick mask. Select your Paint Bucket tool. Ensure the foreground colour is black. Starting with the top left box, left click once to fill it in so that it turns red. Then repeat the same process with every other box in the row. Going down to the next row, ensure that your unfilled boxes are parallel with filled cells on the previous row you just did. So here for example I want to fill this box in because the box above on the previous row is unfilled. Repeat this process going down the page. Press Q on your keyboard when you are done. This will make selections of boxes on your screen in diamond formations. Press Ctrl and J on your keyboard to create a new layer with those selections inside. Now go to Columns. Click on Channels. Hold Ctrl and click on Alpha 1. Go back to your layers again. Press Q on your keyboard. This time with your Paint Bucket tool, start off with the second unfilled box on your top row. Fill in every other box as you go along and repeat the same pattern as you did with the rows layer. Press Q and press Ctrl and J to create a new layer with those selections inside. Rename this layer column selections and rename the previous layer that you made row selections. Open up your indigenous people image. Select your rectangular marquee tool. 
left click in the corner drag your mouse button down to the opposite corner to make a selection press Control and C to copy return to your project window press Control and V to paste press Control and T on your keyboard to select the free transform tool reduce the size of the indigenous people image to 25% for both the height and the width press enter when you're done go to view and untick snap so that you can move images around much smoothly in your Photoshop canvas hold control on your keyboard select the columns layer to make a selection appear ensure that your indigenous people image goes above the third row and with the face inside the third column press control and D to deselect reduce the green image to 55% ensure that this image goes inside the third column like with the indigenous people image with the face clearly inside the selection and the top of the image should start at the bottom of the third row hold control on your keyboard select both of these new picture layers right click and merge layers together rename this new merged layer as column A keep repeating the same import process for each of your pictures for the girl sitting in the field reduce the picture size to 50% ensure that the woman's head is inside the fourth column with the top of her head almost parallel with the eyes of the indigenous person reduce the size of the cable guy picture to 40% ensure that the cable guy is inside the fourth column with his head just above the start of the fifth row hold control and join the two layers together right click and merge layers rename this layer column B reduce the size of the next to statuses image to 30% ensure that the man's face is inside the fifth column with the mouth almost parallel with the top of the woman's head sitting in the field reduce the size of the image of the woman to 60 percent ensure that the woman's head is inside the fifth column like with the man with the sunglasses and that the image starts just below the third row hold control left click on both the new layers right click merge layers together and you guessed it rename it column C reduce the size of the taxi driver image to 37 percent ensure that the taxi driver's face is inside the third row with the right side of his face parallel with the left side of the indigenous person in the section above reduce the size of the sunbathing image to 35 percent ensure that we can see the man lying completely down with the left side of the woman's hair parallel with the left side of the man's face above and also ensure that both the taxi driver picture and the sunbather image meet together inside the fourth column hold control select both layers right click merge layers together and rename this row A reduce the size of the rowing image to 36% ensure that the rower is directly above the cable guy and inside the fourth row and also the fourth column reduce the size of the image on the girl to 40 percent ensure that the girl's head is inside the fourth row with her face parallel to the taxi driver and that the and that the right side of the image is inside the third column reduce the California guy image to 20% ensure that the California guy's face is inside the fourth row and that the left side of the picture touches the right side of the rowing image hold control select all three layers that are in the center right click merge layers rename this row B reduce the size of the boy image to 50 ensure that the boy's face is inside the fifth row down also check to make sure that the boy's face isn't inside any of the column selections 
and that the left side of the boy image is just inside the fourth column. Reduce the size of the festival crowd image to 44%. Ensure that some of the near side crowd members are inside the fifth row down and that the right side of the image touches that of the boy inside the same row. Hold control on your keyboard, select both layers with your left mouse button, right click, merge layers and rename row C. Make all row and column layers invisible apart from column A. Select column A layer, hold control and select the layer mask for the columns layer. Press Ctrl and Shift and I, press Delete, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Using your marquee tool, erase any unnecessary sections here. I only want to show the faces of the people inside the pictures on the third column so that any remaining parts of the picture on separate columns can be removed. Make a selection each time with your marquee tool and press delete. Press Ctrl and D when you're done. Repeat this process for all other columns and rows. When deleting any unnecessary sections from the rows, ensure that you hold Ctrl and select the layer mask for the rows image. Press Ctrl, Shift and I to select the areas outside of the row and press delete. Again, like with the columns, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Use your rectangular marquee tool to erase any unnecessary sections, any images which are on separate layers. In row A, for instance, we only want to show what's on the third row and nothing else. Eventually, you should have any image sections erased from the white blocks on your canvas. Hold Ctrl and select all of your column layers right click and select merge layers rename this layer picture columns repeat the same process for your three row layers select your picture columns layer hold control and left click on the column sections thumbnail press control and c to copy go to create a new layer Go to Edit, Paste Special and Paste in Place. Now select your Picture Rows layer. Hold Control and left click on the thumbnail for your Row Selections layer. Press Control and C. Go to Create a New Layer. Go to Edit and Paste Special, Paste in Place. You can now delete the Column Selections and Row Selections layers. Rename layer 1 new column selections and rename layer 2 new row selections. With the new row selections layer selected, go down to the layer style window. Click on outer glow. With the outer glow box ticked and with the outer glow structure open, choose normal as your blend mode, 75% opacity, 0% noise. Technique softer, spread 12%, size 43%, range is 50. Click OK. Now hold Alt on your keyboard and drag your effects down to your new column sections to replicate the dark side blurry effect. With your new row selections layer selected, press Ctrl, Alt and G to create a clipping mask. Now do the same for your new column selections. Select your picture rows image. Hold control and select the columns layer mask thumbnail. Go to your eraser tool. On this occasion here, I'm going to use a size 55 pixel hard round eraser tool with 100% opacity and 100% flow. Inside the pictures row layer, go to the right of the girl's face who is sitting in the train and left click to erase this part of the row, revealing the man in the green surroundings. Repeat the same as well to the right of the rower to reveal the woman. And left click and erase the festival goers to reveal the cable guy. And then finally for the top section as well to reveal the woman sitting in the field. 
Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select New Row Selections. Left click over the taxi driver image to the left of the face to erase the dark lining in the picture. Repeat the same in the boy image. Get rid of the dark lining to the right of his face using your eraser tool. Then left click to the right of the sunbathers to erase any unnecessary shadow effects. And repeat the same as well for the festival goes in the bottom left corner. Go to the new column selections layer. Left click and drag your eraser tool over the image of the girl in the field to get rid of the unnecessary shadow. Repeat the same as well for the image of the man with the glasses to the right of her. Go to your background layer. Press shift and backspace. Fill the contents with black. Click OK. Go to create a new layer. Drag this to the top. Rename this layer black. Press shift and backspace. Fill the layer with black. Click OK. Go to your eraser tool. Choose a soft round eraser brush and ensure that the size is 1350 pixels. Left click twice. Reduce the size of your eraser to about 130, 129 pixels. Reduce the opacity of the eraser tool to 75%. With the black layer still selected, left click once on each of the faces of your characters. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Magnolia. Ensure that the Magnolia layer is on top of your layer list. Hold Shift and Backspace. Choose Color from the Use box. The code you want for this particular layer is DFC87C. Click OK. Click OK again. Go to the Blending option and choose Color. Reduce the opacity to about 66%. Go to your brush tool. The size of your brush should be 200 pixels. Hardness 0, soft round brush with opacity of 75%, flow 100. Double click on your color tab and choose the color shade number AFCBD7. Click OK. On your Magnolia layer, left click once in certain sections to make them blue, particularly the sky areas or water. Try and avoid left clicking more than three times in each of the pictures. I've just noticed that I have a dark lining on my bottom picture with the cable guy, so I'm going to select my eraser tool, go down to new column selections and left click to erase that particular shadow. Go to your text layer now. The font you want is Adobe Garamount Pro, regular, 200 point size, strong. And the color code you want for your text is F6EB00. Click OK. Left click once in the bottom of your canvas. With lowercase writing, type in the text you want to have appear there. Ensure that your text layer is dragged to the top so that we can see the writing. I'm going to use the move tool to drag it into the middle slightly. Go back to your picture rows now, select your eraser tool, set the razor to soft round about 200 pixels as the size with the opacity at 50. Left click and go around the edges of your rows to create a round fade effect. Do this until the square edges of your rows disappear and blend in with the dark black background. Now select picture columns and do the same as well. Now I can drag my text into the middle more. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas about what else I should do a Photoshop project of, please leave your ideas in the comment section below. Join me soon for another Photoshopping tutorial. Take care.